everyone. It's me, Mara, from The Funky Spork. I am pretty, pretty darn, pretty darn excited about this particular dish that I am going to share with you. One of the reasons is because it's food and I love food and I love to eat, love good food. <laughs> but second of all, this incredible dish contains blueberries. Yes, I know the last dish I made had blueberries, uh, but this one's a little bit different. The thing is though, quite a few of you over the course of time have requested that I actually do a little bit of baking and more desserts. So I'm listening to you. Trust me, I got you, I got you. So with all that being said, the dish that I'm going to show you how to prepare is a delicious, scrumptious, melt in your mouth, blueberry crisp. <sighs> I can already taste it right now. And I have a confession to make. One of the third reasons why I'm really excited about showing you how to make this dish is because I haven't eaten all day and this is literally going to be my first dish. So my stomach is literally grumbling as I'm explaining how good this dish is to you. But I guess you'll have to make it for yourself to judge whether or not you're gonna like it. But I really do hope you like it and if you do, that make me really happy. If you are interested in learning how to make this dish, I promise you that I will shut up and show you how. These are the ingredients you're going to need for the blueberry crisp. Three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour, three quarters of a cup of oats, one half of a cup of packed brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of cold butter cut into pieces. I'd also save a few, maybe about like two extra tablespoons of butter cut it into pieces to sprinkle at the top of the crumble mixture and I'll explain later why and a pinch of salt four cups of fresh or frozen blueberries but they really should be very very ripened a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract if you don't have vanilla extract no big and a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and nope 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 my sloth is not included. Okay, so your first step will be to heat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're going to want to grease a square glass baking dish with cooking spray. I think mine was eight by 12, but you can use eight by eight. I'd say you don't want it to be too big because of the proportion of ingredients, but if you're gonna cook for more people, then you know, you do you. Next, in a medium bowl, you're going to mix the flour, the oats, the brown sugar, and the salt. And you want to mix all that until it's pretty well blended. And then what you're eventually going to want to do is take your cold butter and you're going to want to cut that in and you're going to want to really blend that. And you want to do that until your mixture is crumbly and that's the goal you're going for. So um, even though I don't really have it in the video, if you need to just like get in there, get with your hands and just kind of massage everything, you're looking for a nice crumbly texture. But I would say at this point though, do not add those two extra tablespoons of butter. Hold that to the side. Meanwhile, in a large bowl or your current baking pan, mix the filling ingredients until everything is well coated and then you wanna make sure that everything is also spread evenly throughout the baking dish. You don't want more on one side than the other, pretty self-explanatory. And then the last step is to sprinkle that crispy crumble mixture over the top of those sexy, sexy blueberries. If you want this particular dish to have just a little bit of extra crisp, then at that point, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and add those two extra tablespoons of butter on the top. I didn't, you didn't see me do that in this particular video, but it's something I highly recommend. And then you're gonna bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes until the topping is golden brown. And I would say to let this cool for a few minutes, I would say maybe 10 to 15, but if you're really hungry and you wanna dig in, just, you know, blow a lot. <laughs> but um, that's all I've got to say. So enjoy. Good news. This dish is finally done. 
I am not a very patient person at all. So after waiting for 45 minutes, including cool time, I bring you with this blueberry crisp. <laughs> it smells really good. And it's making me even more hungry. And I think I told you I did not eat at all today so far. And it's 12.52 PM. <laughs> I guess you can call this my brunch. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Look at that, look at that, check that out. Okay, so it may not look like the sexiest Pinterest Instagram dish, but with the times that I've had different types of fruit crisps, like apple crisp, I know that this is gonna be good because it smells good. All right, so let's give this a try. Look at that, look at that. Oh my God, all those blueberries. Oh my God, there's like one hanging by a string. That crispiness from the oats and the flour and the brown sugar. Ah, this is the moment of truth, everyone. Holy cow, holy crap. Mm-hmm. That's really good. <laughs> That's delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Babe, try this. This is so good. I'm going to bring my husband so he can try some. Oh my God. It's so good. The blueberries are tart. And this is sweet and kind of buttery, but not too sweet. The flavors are really nice. Oh. She's my handsome, sexy husband. Hello. Ah. Uh. Want to try some? Sure. It's a blueberry crisp. Okay. Do you like food? Yeah, you know, I accept food. You know, you'd rather eat air or something. I know, or like matter. <laughs> Did you want me to, or you know, yeah. you can figure it. Mm. Mm. What do you think, my glove? Mm-hmm. Mm. I love blueberries. I can't lie. The other brothers can't. And I want a blueberry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, and he is a really tough critic, right babe? Yeah. He is super picky, and if my picky husband over there wow. can enjoy this dish, it's true, then so can you. And as you saw, this is a super simple, super easy recipe to make. A lot of these ingredients you might already have at the store, but if not, these are very inexpensive ingredients and if you're from florida we're still in blueberry season so blueberries are actually going to be more affordable when you go get them at the grocery store or even your local farmer's market so anyway i'm gonna go finish eating this brunch of mine slash my first and not last meal of the day if you like this video and you thought this was really yummy please like this video comment below what you think and if you made it and if you like my channel and you like me and awesome food related florida friendly bites and recipes please be sure to subscribe to this channel because i've got so many fun recipes and so much fun and boringness lined up for this channel oh yeah if you also feel it in your heart support me on my patreon any little bit of support you can contribute to this passion of mine will help me just continue to create amazing recipes for all of you to enjoy and savor. Well, anyway, I'm about to go and finish this amazing blueberry crisp. See you later. Bye-bye.